Hey guys, first video I'm gonna make this morning uh, is gonna be the Showboat 123 Kid and the moveset that I find most reliable for him in a feud. Um, I've seen him on Showdown defense and I don't know if people use him for Showdown on offense. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to make him quick in that, uh, in that realm of the game, but in the feuds, I love using him. He uh, gets through matches super fast. The only drawback is he's not going to do a ton of damage because uh, it's a, a strong finisher with strong protect gems. So you only end up doing about 400k damage plus another 100k maybe from the other yellow move. So the way I run him in a feud, it's a one charge black move. It does 5k damage and you make two protect gems in uh, 7500 strength. An eight charge yellow, it does 40k damage. You choose eight gems to destroy, that's of any color. And the finisher is a 12 charge yellow, 160k damage, and it increases the strength of your protect gems by 17k. And that gets really strong once you factor in your entourage. <coughs> the way I use that in a feud, since it's an eight charge yellow, I like to use double MP trainers to keep them turn one. So Kofi and Shamrock, that gets you there. And then I throw in Earthquake. Uh, he gives you an additional 20% damage reduced and another Protect Gem. And then Bailey, she gives you another Protect Gem. So for the way I use his strap, I put a Legendary on him because I wanted to use a Cheap Shot Plate. And it goes off quite a bit when you're breaking the, the gems with that yellow move. So that uh, reduces 50% of their damage for one turn. Now I got his, his special plate this week and I was trying to figure out how to use it to make the, the moves flow. But it creates random gems and then sometimes that can pin a little bit early. Sometimes it can help you recycle the, uh, the blue move that you do damage per protect gem. But... If somebody knows how to use this, I'd love, love to, for you to leave a comment. I quite can't figure it out. This is uh, the most reliable way I run them is this way. So the biggest, um, the biggest metal for him is going to be the 133% yellow move. I have one set of armor, and then I just tried to throw in yellow move damage with the other ones. This one's 7% because this was padded. If it was armor, I would have double armor, but it's not. And then this one over here gives me another 6%. And this I just threw on there because uh, once you max it out, the all gem defense is going to be a little bit higher because it's a tier 5. But it's just at 16% right now. Plus another really good thing about him. This is a good thing and a bad thing. The feud perks that give minus 2 MP that we always uh, max out, that also gives you the protect gems generated for moves or reduced damage taken by another 100%. That gets huge with this finisher. And uh, and yeah, so let's see what it looks like uh, on the road. We're gonna go against another five star silver. And his finisher does, I think, almost 400K. It, it gets up there pretty bit, uh, quite a bit. The biggest drawback is in a feud, you're not taking away that HP. You're not doing enough damage to get the points, but you're going to get super quick wins. So right off the bat, the one charge black's going to be loaded. Oh, that's what I meant to say. In a feud, because of the gen, uh, gen, gem degeneration perk, you're usually only going to get to make two protect gems. So even with that, it's enough. You need to break... This says two to fill this, but in a, in a feud, it's going to be three. And usually there's a lot more yellows. This is a horrible board. Like super horrible board. There's only three. So I break the two, the, the three and then one black. That's going to let me use that black move for the second time. And my cheap shot plate's already gone off. So hopefully this doesn't pin. Perfect. So he's going to lose another 50%. So these are going to end up being um, 30k protect gems. Plus another 100% in a feud, they're going to be 40k each. So even if you only have four of them out there, plus the cheap shot plate went off. So he's going to have a hard time getting up. Even with that five break. He might take the purples too, we'll see. Yeah, he took the five. So that cheap shot really helped us out right there. 
and then he just got a crazy cascade. He's not getting up. And again, we're going to have another 100% um, on, the, on those protect gems in a feud. So that's how I like to run them pretty much every time. If there's a, a line perk, a lane perk that gives you 2 MP, I'll use that as well. And then I'll throw on like Booker T to add more protect gems to the board. That's always really nice. But because he doesn't take away that HP and get you those extra points in a feud, I, I usually just use him one time. I'll use my other hard-hitting guys to take away more HP, like Lee, um, to get through it. So, I want to show you now also the way I've been trying to figure out how to kind of run this. But I can't really get it to work the way I want it to with that blue move. I like the blue move and it gets stronger over time, but I'm looking for, you know, those turn one victories. I don't really want to like keep adding to, to stuff as I'm going. So if I use this and then I tried it with this blue move to try to get that off twice, but in a feud, you're going to still need double MP trainers. So you're going to have to switch uh, over to, to Lawler. Oop, I almost broke it. And then you're also going to have to put in, I think it's AJ. Who gives the two blues? Yeah, AJ. And let's see, let's see how this works. Because I'd, I'd really like to put in Booker again. You get those other extra four Protect Gems because it's going to help with the damage. And Bailey helps on this one because she gives you 15% damage to the Protect Gems. But we're going to go against the Five Star Bronze. And you'll still see that we take very little damage just because we're going to have Protect Gems out. So we're only going to be taking move damage. So the only person that's really going to hurt you here is like a Bleed Guy or a Power Gem Guy because those go right through your protects. So right off the bat, like the last time, you're gonna wanna get the protects out, and then you're gonna wanna do the damage. But it's not really like high enough because there's only four of them. So this is how, I, like, I, mean, I don't know if you're doing it in a showdown, maybe even a few too. In a showdown, you would actually get to put the protect gems out there and 30 more percent damage with them but we'll use this and then we'll see if we can get this thing to work the way I was playing with it so you're wanting a five break to get an extra turn um, and I don't really need any more yellows it'd be nice if there was a blue match after this I guess that's where the lightning plate would come in handy so if I break this, that's a pretty good spot. But then it's it could possibly pin. So take your five break. Oh, you know what? Well, at least I almost charged the blue. But you'll see how like the, the protect gems are gonna be out there. So we're not gonna take a lot of damage unless he covers them with those silence. He likes to do that to you. All right, now we get to put some more out there. And it doesn't quite hit hard enough, this move for me. Because you're gonna have to use it like three or four times to take away all their health. And there's no blue match for us, so we're just gonna have to uh, play around with this for two more turns. So every turn we're gonna get to use it though. Hopefully he doesn't keep covering. I mean, this probably wasn't the best card to show you with it against. It's unfortunate that we ended up having that crazy cascade. We'll try it again on the very next turn. I'm not even going to use the uh, the protect gem move. Let's just take a blue match. And then we'll try to get it off twice on the very next turn. Because if I used it now and then used it again, I might end up putting him in danger. And, and then I won't be able to show you the five break. 
Okay, so if this was like, say, turn one, we, don't, we only have one, two, three protects out there, right? So we'd be putting out the four, and, it, and in a few, this would only be two because of the, uh, the perk that takes away your gems. We'd use it. Now we'll try to set up that five break again. If you've been watching any of the videos uh, I've been making lately, I, lo I love making five breaks. <laughs> so that's a pretty good spot for it. And then the problem is going to be trying to pin him. So then we get to put even more out and then hit it again. Now this time it's going to do a good chunk of damage, almost 300k. Oh, she's still only 153k. Yeah, I don't like this setup. Um, maybe I'm doing it wrong. You guys, if you know, please tell me. I'm, I just don't see it. Let's just do whatever. I guess it doesn't matter at this point. We're going to win. But look at our health still. We're like 100% because he can't hit us because the protects are so strong. But I really like the finisher. We'll do one more with that. We'll just go back in there against him and just show you how quick it is. That's the way I'd run it for the feud. I'm not the biggest fan of using this card for uh, for a showdown or set up this way because even in showdown, his moves are too high of charge. So if you're going against those guys with bleed or power gems, they're going to end up uh, taking you out. Let's see if there's a three or a cross. A cross would be sweet. It would end it right now. I don't see one. I don't even see a cascade anywhere. All right, whatever. Let's just get some loot boxes. There wasn't even a blue I could have taken. This match is taking way too long. But there's another, you could maybe use this with the yellow where you're just uh, choosing what to destroy. I guess that could work too. Um, there's no cross breaks again. God, Lord, I should have taken the loot. Oh, well. He gets to go again. At least, at least our blue moves ready on the next one. So, if I, I, I have to be playing this wrong. I gotta be. It can't be this bad. This is against a five-star bronze. So maybe, I guess, if you did use that one plate, uh, the Kid Lightning, you'd be getting some more I just like the cheap shot better it takes away their kick out so they're already gonna have a hard time kicking out what am I doing oh I'm making yellows that's enough um yeah I guess I could see it working a little bit but yeah the cheap shots the way I would go if you have one that you have uh free I'm gonna also Eventually, when I get a legendary for Batista, I'm going to put one on him, too, because, uh, you know, at five-star silver, his, his finisher is going to be like 700 to 800k, and he has those heal gems that, per, that heal the kick out. So if you have the cheap shot on him as well, they can't get out. They're already going to have a hard time kicking out because his finisher is twice as strong as one, two, three kids, and he's easier to set up. I'm actually taking him five star bronze uh, as soon as this flash shoot starts. So let's do this again. <laughs> that was the longest match ever. We'll go back to our original setup. This is the way I like to run them. Um, we have to switch back the two yellow moves. And yeah, because even the blue moves, their base damage is super low. So even if you put 133% metal on they're they're still not doing anything and then we're gonna switch back to uh kofi and shamrock shamrock it should be right at the top because i just used them and there's kofi and we're gonna keep the uh entourage the same i mean this is like a world of difference But I have faced him um, in a showdown before, and he kind of kicked my butt a little bit. And I was like, what's going on here? And it was with the blue move, so 
I'm sure there's something I did wrong right there. But this is how he's gonna look like in a feud. So you're gonna throw out your protects. And if there's a way to collapse the yellows that's real close, um, like say there was a yellow, watch. Say there was a yellow right here. I would break this and this to get my yellows and my black and then just move on to the next one. So we need to break three in a feud, one black. And then throw them out again. The cheap shot went off. That's when it goes off, when you're breaking those gems. And then you're going to put out the finisher. It's pretty huge, and it buffs in a few to 40k each protect gem. So even if there's only half of those out there, they're still not getting up. So look how quick and easy this is. This is how I would absolutely run them for a feud. Just... Just be prepared to lose some points because you're going to leave some uh, HP out there. He couldn't even take one click off of that. So I'm going to make uh, Batistas this weekend and I'm going to do like a live feud video of how I kind of set up my lineup and run through them pretty quickly and like who faces who, why I throw some fodder in there and stuff. So look out for that video. Um, I enjoyed making this video. And sorry about that long match right there. And you guys take care. Leave me a comment.